Picture the impact of your legacy. Picture the impact of your legacy. So what did the author say? For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. So Jesus sees what's before him. What is it before him? The assignment that the Father gives him. And he gets so excited about it. There's a joy that fills Jesus, that goes beyond the suffering, goes beyond the ridicule, goes behind all beyond the rejection. There was joy in fulfilling what God has purposed him to do. And I love that because, you know, a lot of times we can, you know, lose heart. We can grow weary. So what's going to bring back that joy? What's going to inspire us again? It's the picture. Picture the impact of your legacy. And, and this is what God did, right? In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5, it says, God decided in advance, right, predestined to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. And this is what he wanted to do, and it gave him great pleasure. Even before, right, even before Jesus came, even before all that, God already had a picture of what the impact will look like. He pictured you and I part of the family. He predestined us. He pictured us. He decided way in advance that we would be part of His family. Because He would know a lot of us may not be happy with the legacy that was handed to us. May not even have done some, you know, have made some really foolish decisions, right, uh, in our lifetime. And so, some, th- some things we don't want to pass to our children. Some things that we don't want them to, to carry on. And that's what the love of God comes into our lives and says, listen, I understand you may not have a past that you're proud of. You may not be proud of your present. And you may not even be proud of your future. But thank God, even though our family is flawed, we have a family of God that we are adopted into a royal family that we have the king of kings that are our daddy, our father, and we are adopted, amen, that we are royalty. You are sons and daughters of God. Thank you, Jesus. 